All right, we're back here with Metagrid. I want to explain our charge control system a little bit. What we have to do is integrate solar charging with hydroelectric charging. And uh, while solar can be turned on and off at will instantaneously with a switch, no damage, uh, hydro is different. Our hydro here, if it doesn't have a constant load, it overspeeds and can blow out bearings and overheat and uh, cause all, all kinds of problems. So there has to be a load at all times on the hydro. And integrating those two different charging modes in one system can be sometimes difficult, but you know, I've been working with it for 25 years or so and I'm starting to get it figured out. Um, what we've done is configured our Midnight Classic 250 charge controller to accept solar charging from the panels, MPPT, normal charging, and it'll, it'll taper the charge from those as the battery gets full and then shut them off without any issue. Um, what I've also done is configured an auxiliary relay output on the Midnight Classic to send a pulse width modulated signal to a um, solid state relay. And so here's AUGS2 set to diversion high. I've got the voltage set to dump at 54.4, give or take one volt. So it actually starts dumping the power about a volt before 54.4, just gradually. And as the battery approaches 54.4 volts, it'll um, output a constant pulse width modulated signal to uh, dump all the excess power that it can into the given uh, heating element that it has. So we have a 1000 watt heating element hooked up to the solid state relay. Uh, so we've just got a little 12, just a 22 gauge silicone wire to a pair of them running from the 12 volt output on the relay controller on the Midnight Classic up here to the solid state relay and that, that controls the output of the solid state relay and uh, the pulse width modulated signal basically it sends rapid pulses to the relay depending upon how much power needs to be dumped if a little bit of power needs to be dumped it sends a whole bunch of really quick you know, pulses boo, 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 and dumps just the right amount of power. But as as the need for the dumping of the power rises, then those uh, those pulses remain on longer and longer, and to the point where if if the battery's going over the set point, it'll just turn on the the solid state relay full blast all the time, and so. So the lower contacts on the solid state relay there are the 12 volt input. The upper contacts are the actual relay circuit that takes input from the 48 volt battery and sends output to the heater element that dumps the excess power, which is over here. So what I've done here is taken an old oil filled radiator and uh, I've removed the control cover, which I may uh, put back together at some point just so I can have, you know, tip over protection on it and that sort of thing. But anyway, it basically had just a water heater element in it. I removed that since that water heater element was made for uh, 120 volt AC. I mean, it, 120 volt AC uh, water heater element will dump DC power, but at a fraction of the um, amps that a uh, a, a purpose-built DC water heater element will. So this is a DC water heater element made for 48 volts. I purchased it on Amazon. It dumps a thousand watts. I just um, I had to adapt it. it the old um, heater element that came out was an uh, inch and a quarter NPT or national pipe thread and uh, the uh, new DC water heater element is one inch, so I had to get a bushing to go in there to adapt from inch and a quarter to inch. And then I also had to wrap about nine wraps of Teflon tape and save the old gasket to keep the 
oil in and not leak out. So anyway, I've just hooked that up to the oil-filled radiator, and it's filled with a special high-temperature oil that, uh, you know, can accept all kinds of uh, heat and won't burn. And uh, so this will be... This will be our dump load, and I, I'm planning on having four more of them because uh, we're going to have, oh, probably near 4,000 watts of charging power, all told, with the solar panels and the hydroelectric and whatnot. And I, I do have four more of these old um, oil-filled radiators, and I'll convert them to uh, dump loads. And uh, the nice thing about this is um, the time when we'll have the most excess heat will be in the winter when we're running our hydro and there's a lot of water through the hydro and it's putting out a lot of power and we'll dump that power into our greenhouse here and uh, keep it from freezing during the winter ideally so um, yeah instead of just dumping it outside dumping the power outside or dumping it into the atmosphere we're actually using it to grow our food so um any questions, leave them in the comments. Metagrid, signing off.